let's be a little careful about jumping too quickly to the answer, too quickly to the solution, because so often the answers that we come up with reflexively encode the same biases and assumptions that the problems come from. Maybe we gotta pause for a second here. Pause and listen. And I would go even further to say, not only do we not know the right answers, but we don't necessarily even know the right questions. This is the humility that our converging crises have brought us to. I'm not sure if we're there yet, but I'm seeing signs of it, especially in my country where like that kind of gung-ho, we can do it, we can solve everything, technology is gonna solve all of our problems, the world's gonna get better and better, we're gonna engineer a perfect society through material technology, through social engineering, political science, et cetera, et cetera, like we're gonna, we're gonna solve this thing. Like that confidence is unraveling. That's one reason why we are so interested in the ways and perceptions of the indigenous. They're not like, yeah, I mean, some, some of it is like an identity piece and they become a fetish object and we, et cetera, et cetera, cultural appropriation. But, but there's, also, <laughs> there's also like a humility there that's like, wow, we don't know after all. Maybe you know. Or maybe you know something. Maybe you've remembered something. Maybe you can feed a thread of knowledge into the tapestry of how are we meant to live on this planet. Yeah. <clears throat> so the first step then is to listen. That to answer that question, how can I serve the land and what is the next evolutionary step? The first step to do that, to find that, even to ask those questions starts with listening. 